So some people leave legacies. And for most of us, we are a legacy. We're a legacy of our moms and our dads. And my mom recently passed. Two years ago, a lot of people here at Iron Tribe on our corporate team and, and in our gyms here in Birmingham beyond saw me go through that. It was a tough experience. And so today we get to do a workout to honor our mothers. I'm gonna honor mine and it happens to be a workout named after Marianne Cavall, a woman who is dedicated to fitness, who is dedicated to her clients through personal training, dedicated to her son, her only son. And the whole time she was dedicated to her clients and her son, she was sick. 27 years of kidney disease with dialysis every other day, transplants, and then cancer that took her life. But she didn't let it hold her down. She made her life about other people, and now those other people live on. Uh, I always think about my mom as I do Marianne. I think about Jim and the things that I know he went through and losing his mom and other people that have lost someone that's really close to them like that as well. Um, we were missionaries for a couple years in uh, Papua New Guinea, and my favorite picture of my mom is uh, it's just of her um, on the ground with a lady, um, a person from Papua New Guinea, and she's on the ground with her just hugging and loving on her. And um, Okay, so my mom was the most beautiful woman that I think ever walked on the planet, and um, um, I'm one of those girls that I get furious if I hear little girls fighting with their mom in the dressing room at the store, and I'm like, she might not be around much longer. Uh, mom was an uh, awesome, awesome lady. Um, somebody I spent a lot of time with, somebody I talk to every day. Can't say there's not a day that goes by that she doesn't cross my mind in some, some form. You know, there's, there's always times where maybe we can step back and actually do something that, that may be challenging, but something to honor, not just our moms that, that have passed, but also just moms, parents in general that, that are still here because we never know. I mean, I really hope that everybody can see that and everybody can look at their mom today and say, hey, thanks, you're a powerful woman.